Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mero and I teach creative people how to sell their art online and today I'm going to show you how to design a links page. I'm going to do it for my own store, Cows. That's shop.cowslife.com. It's online. You can go ahead and check it out. And I'm going to be designing a links page for this shop. Now, recently, very recently in a recent update, I'm going to go here to site design. Fourth wall added a section in their page builder that is for links, but we're not just going to use it as is. We're going to do a bunch of other stuff. The first thing that I need to do if I want to have a links page is to create a links page. I do not want it to be on the menu. I'm going to go to pages and navigations. The main menu is what you see here. And if I'm going to add a page here, it's going to put it on the menu, but I do not want my links page on the menu. I also don't want it on the footer. What I want it to be is not in the menu. So let's add page or link page. Let's call it links create. And this is how the page looks exciting. I know what we're going to do first is add a section and you can see here we have the links list. We're going to add this. And of course, you're going to have to think what links do you actually want to have here? Do you want to have links to collections? Do you want to have links to your Pinterest account, to your YouTube, to your Instagram, to a blog, for example? Now, before I'm going to add this, I'm going to think also about this area. I don't think I want it. Let's just hide it. And handy links, which is the links list, I'm going to change it to Welcome to cows. Now we have here the text and the link. I can add an icon if I want to. I can do it a single column or horizontal. I think we're going to see it better when we are going to add more links. So I'm just going to click on add link, add link, add link, just to build it up. Add link. Awesome. Now let's see what happens when we do horizontal. Okay. I don't like that single column. We can align it to the left. That's the heading. Pretty much want it centered. And don't forget to check everything on mobile, of course. Now, we have here welcome to cows and a text. But I actually want to have a photo before all of these. So I'm going to head on back and I'm going to add section and image. What image am I going to have? Let's delete this one. Go to bras. This can be your logo. This can be an image of one of your mock-ups. Hmm. I think I want to have this cow, but I want it to be, let's click on this one for a second. Yeah, it's a very big image. And I don't want that. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to head on over to Canva create a design that is 500 or not 5,000. No, let's do 600 by 600 pixels. Where is my cow? Come on. Where are you lovely? It's this one. I'm going to go to elements on Canva. I think I'm going to go with a circle. place it in the center, go to uploads. I don't know if it looks good on a circle. Maybe it needs an outline. Yep. Let's name my file, Cow's Life, Gifts for Cow Lovers. Download this with a transparent background. To create a circle, obviously you don't have to create a circle. I recommend because that's the look that I want to go for. Head on back to here, upload image, downloads, my cow. I think this looks better. Let's raise it up and open it on the phone. Hmm. This is nice. I might want to consider putting welcome to cows here, but I think it's good for now. Moving on to the links like list itself. I don't think that I need some text here personally. What I do want to have is, for example, shop my collections. So let's go with the holiday because we do have holidays coming up. So for example, 
I would want to promote Easter. If you have products for Easter, you're going to put it up first because this is the next holiday. But let's check out holiday, holiday gifts. And the link is going to be this. Now, I'm in the European Union, so every time I open something, it's en euro. I'm deleting that and just copying this link here. Let's see what icons I can have. Eh, don't think I like them that much. Don't care. Holiday gifts. What other thing I want to have? Let's do... Mm -mm -mm. Shop cow mugs and tumblers. Put the link. Next up, stickers. Grabbing this. Cute cow stickers. Why am I, why is it linking fourth wall? Huh? What's going on here? This. I think it just didn't finish. No, that's the tumblers. We need to wait for it to finish. Otherwise, everything we do goes away. I think I'm just getting adjusted to this shop builder. These two other ones. You have to click on the space and wait for it to come up. Let's do Pinterest. Let's go to saved. Pinterest. You can actually add icon here. And of course you can add Instagram, whatever it is that you want, or a different collection. But here's the main thing I want to show you. The fact that they have this very fast link builder is awesome, but I'm not done. I'm, I'm, I'm far from being done because the purpose of this is when people come here, they can know what you're doing. They can see what you're doing. They have easier access to everything. So let's give a few examples. Let's say you're a creator on YouTube and you constantly have in your background a poster, you drink from a mug and you wear a sweatshirt and a t-shirt. Take those items that are in your background and create a collection from them called As Seen on YouTube. The same thing for Instagram. So for example, I have this post here with these products and this post with a product that I still haven't listed on my store, my God and this product. I can create basically a collection from these items and present them directly on the links page. So if anybody goes to your link page, they can just click and buy that item. They don't have to search for it in the collection. The way to do that is by taking these items, placing them under a collection, and then going to add section, featured collection, in my case, I still don't have it because I don't have enough of these things on Instagram yet. But what I do have is designers favorites because these are the ones that I like the most. I'm going to call them my personal faves. And whatever amount of photos you want, depending again on how many do you actually have to display. I don't want to show the view all button. And this is what people will see when they come in to the links page. Let's see how it looks on desktop. It still looks okay. That big cow here. You can also add a link to the blog, which is not finished yet. I can also add images and links to affiliate products, for example, or pretty much add anything I want. Just consider the fact that this is something that people come into why did I want them to come in here? I wanted them to go to my link in bio to buy a specific product. So that product needs to be here for people to have the easiest way to find it. 
You can also style it a little bit more by adding about text, about section, image with text, image banners, and every single thing that you do have for your store. If you have memberships, then the recent membership posts, if someone wants to see them, you can add a donation button, a newsletter sign up, your Instagram feed if you're sending people from YouTube, whatever it is that you want. But that is the main gist. And honestly, I would probably leave it as simple as this. I might just add one thing here to the links list. Let's check out the links list, which is about cows. And that is my about page, which of course opens an Ian you all the time. And I'm done. This is my links page. I told you guys in the video of the news, of the print on demand news, this is gonna be a very quick tutorial. And it is. Let's see how it looks now here. This page doesn't appear on my shop. So let's have a look at the page settings. The slug is pages and links. So let me just copy this. Go here to my domain shop that cowslife.com forward slash pages and links. I clicked the, this twice. And this will be the link minus the EN euro that I will be placing on my Instagram link in bio or anywhere else you are on, whether it's a link from Pinterest, whether it's a link from YouTube, Twitch, or wherever you're on. This is pretty much it for today. Um, again, very easy <laughs> to create this process. I hope that you can see it now. It's really, really a painless procedure. There is more information about Fourth Wall on this YouTube channel, as well as on my Patreon. On Patreon, I had a full how to start your fourth wall shop from start to finish. I will also leave a link down below to the cows shop in case you want to check it out and see what I do. And in the next few days, patrons on Patreon are going to get a very massive video breaking down every single thing that I do on my shop to make it the best that I can, including product description, sizing charts, how to select products, workflow to work smarter, not harder, and a bunch of other stuff. But with that being said, that was it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. If you did, like this video or subscribe to the channel. And as usual, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!